John Zimmerman killed young Trayvon Martin With a gun that he carried as a neighborhood watchman In a locked up and walled around compound in Sanford And the cops were called in And his weapon took from him As they rode him in custody Down to the station And then let him go free Without filing any charges While the blood of young Trayvon Ran out of his body you who hypothesize for state and share everything with your peers take your hands away from your face now's not the time for your tears George Zimmerman who had 28 years patrolled in his car in the wall around Compound, whose father was a magistrate, judge from Virginia, with rich, wealthy parents to provide and protect him with high office relations. In the politics of Florida, reacted to his deed with a shrug of his shoulders. He had heard it before when he was accused of assaulting an officer or a former fiance without filing any charge. He was set free and walking. Hypothesize debates and share everything with your peers. Take your hands away from your face. Now is not the time for your tears. Young Trayvon Martin was an A or B student. He was 17 years old and known to be cheerful was loved by his mother and father and brother who never had as much as a juvenile record who was trying to get home from visiting his father who was trying to get home and carrying candy who would have gotten home if not for the gun in the hand of a man who had followed and stopped him who thought that young Trayvon was the wrong sort of person who tracked him and stalked him and confronted and shot him who had never done nothing to that neighborhood watchman you hypothesize, restate, and criticize with your peers. Take your hands away from your face. Now's not the time for your tears. In the courtroom of honor, the judge pounded her gavel to show that all's equal and that the court's on the level the strings of the books ain't pulled and persuaded, and that even the nobles get properly handled, and that the ladder of the law has no top and no bottom. Who was bound by the law in that great state of Florida, who instructed the jury in a way most entangling, so that no one among them could find a man guilty, unless they knew for certain is true motive for certain in a state where murder's a matter of discretion so long as the killer says they thought they'd been threatened let the gunman go free without any correction and the gavel came down and the trial it was ended Hypothesize, debate, and share everything with your peers. Lift up your hands now and bury your face. Now is the time for your tears.